Hello, P-Way. Welcome to Life in Black and Gold. I'm your anchor, James. And I'm Mary. And wow, do we have a lot to talk about today, don't we, James? You bet we do. For our first show of the year, I think we can start off with a bang. Let's start off with everyone's favorite sport. I don't know about everyone. Shh. Everyone's favorite sport, football. A game all the way back on the 25th of September. That was the game against Edison, right? Correct. And man, it was a tough game. Yeah, they gave us a run for our money with their whopping six points. Let's roll the clip and look at some highlights. What a great start to the season that was. The game against J.P. Stevens was great as well. That was the game during our homecoming, right? Of course. And there are some highlights from the game. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and greet your Piscataway Chiefs. Of course it was. The team's always awesome. Yeah, and that win was great considering it was during our homecoming too. What timing! It really brought up the spirit. There's nothing like a game of football to raise the morale of the school. I agree, but there's more to sports than football. Really? Name some. Um, soccer, field hockey, volleyball, fencing, cheerleading, dance, gymnastics. Alright, alright, I get it. Didn't you see them at the pep rally? The heck's a pep rally? A pep rally is when the entire school gets together and shows school spirit. It was the same day as the Battle of the Classes. Oh yeah, I remember now.
is Asia Buffalo Jr. Now you're at about the halfway point of the season. What's your goal as a team in the second half of the season? Um, we're looking to just go like uh, undefeated the rest of the season. We're trying to do, you know, great in states, great in GMCs. We're looking for a good record, you know, we're, there's room for improvement, but you know, we're practicing, yeah. we're getting ready for the games, and we're winning. So we're winning. You heard it here first. The field hockey team's gonna go on a rampage. Go Chiefs. Laura was even there to sing the anthem. Crying? No, shut up. Let's talk about something else. How about Dizzy Bat? Now you're just making up words. No. The Dizzy Bat is a real event at the pep rally. Everyone loved it. Hey PUA, great job on the Dizzy Bat game that kicked off our battle of the classes. For those of you that weren't there, or just simply don't know what Dizzy Bats is, Dizzy Bats is a game where people run from one field, spin around a bat five times, and run back. The objective is to have as many people running back and forth as possible so that you can win the game. Congratulations to the class of 2016 that won this battle. Oh, a Dizzy Bat, I remember now. I just blanked for a second. Good job, class of 2016. Victory is yours. Wait. What did they win? Bragging rights. Sounds good to me. So sports and dizzy bat. Sounds like a fun time. Did you see the tug of war? Those freshmen are insanely strong. <laughs> They're not that strong. Really? Look at the tug of war. Just look at them go. Our next battle in the pep rally was the tug of war. Our first match was between the freshmen and sophomores. After a fearless round, the freshmen came out as the victors moving on to the winner's round. Next, were our juniors up against the seniors. all their force and strength to win this challenging round against the seniors also moving on to the winner's round. The next round was to decide who was taking third and fourth place. This round consisted of the seniors and the sophomores. Winning their glory back, the seniors beat the sophomores earning third place. The last round was the winner's round, which were juniors against freshmen. By using their strength and dragging the other team to their side, the juniors won this event. This left the juniors in first, the freshmen in second, the seniors in third, and the sophomores in fourth. Okay, I guess 
they're pretty strong, but so are the other grades. I'm just mad the sophomores lost to the freshmen. Well, sports have been really big lately. Can you blame me for being competitive? You're telling me, even the girls are in on the whole football scene. Oh yeah, the powder puff game, right? You got it. And they say girls can't play football. I'm here with Kamal, one of the coaches for the senior team. How, what was your coach strategy for today's game? Um, we just wanted to get all the girls out there, everybody have fun, compete, and hopefully we would just win. But everybody wanted to have fun. Did you translate anything from the football team to what you taught them? Uh, yeah, just like team camaraderie and having each other's back and communicating on the field. Well, great coaching today and great win. I'm here with Diamond, who had an interception return for a touchdown, arguably probably the turning point of the game. So Diamond, I'm going to ask you, what was going through your mind throughout that play? Um, I honestly was trying to get to the quarterback, but I saw the ball coming towards me and I just decided to go and just keep on going to the um, end zone. Was there any doubt in your mind that you weren't going to score on that, on that touchdown, on that play? No. I knew I was going to cross her up. Just keep on going, you know? And I knew my team had me in the back, so that was good. Speaking of team, you guys played a very hard, well-managed game. Um, you want to talk about how you guys practiced in the team? Did you guys feel like you guys played well today? Yes, I actually did. I didn't think we were going to play this good, actually, because we only had two practices. But it turned out to be pretty good, and we took the win. And now we know that football is not just an all-boys sport. Sports aren't the only recognized activities at our school. Yeah, just recently we had the Haunted High event. The whole student body and staff decorated the school like something straight from a horror movie. It was open to all students, family, members, and teachers. My family went as well. They loved it. Lucky. Wasn't able to go. Why not? I was sick. How? Yeah, well, lucky for me, we have a clip right here. Spooky night at PHS didn't just happen. It took volunteers from FBLA, NHS, ROTC, Key Club, and ICCA their personal time to complete the decoration of the rooms and hallways. The FBLA is the club to run it, and they've been doing it for years. Every year they collect money for the March of Dimes, and this year they raised over $600. They started the event because they realized that some NFL players are preemies, meaning they were born prematurely, and thought it was a good cause to support. The March of Dimes is an organization that helps improve the health of mothers and their children. Haunted High invites students from the younger schools to come out to the high school and go trick-or-treating in a safe environment and get candy in the process. of decorations. How about those hallways during homecoming? Those were cool. The theme this year for the hallway decoration was cartoons and animation, right? You bet. My favorite was the Adventure Time by the sophomores. Eh, I'm more of a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle girl. Then again, there was Monsters, Inc. 
and Wreck-It Ralph. How did they expect us to choose a favorite? Well, they did, and here are the results. One of the biggest parts of homecoming has to be the hallway decorating competition. Each class was given a hallway to decorate, honoring their given theme. This year's theme was cartoon series and children's movies. The seniors were given Monsters, Inc., a movie about a corporation of monsters working together to scare children. The juniors were given Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the movie based off the TV series about four ninjas who fight crime. The sophomores were given Adventure Time, the fantasy TV show about Finn the Human and his adventures with Jake the Dog. The freshmen were given Wreck-It Ralph, the movie based off of classic arcade video game characters. Wreck-It Ralph, the main character, went on a quest to prove that games actually do need the villain in order to function, and that him and the other villains deserved credit too. Congratulations to the class of 2015 who won first place, the juniors who won second place, the sophomores who won third place, and last but not least, the freshmen who won fourth place. Job well done, PHS! Good job to all the grades for truly wonderful decorations. You know who deserves a real pat on the back? Who, Mary? The people who got sports scholarships for having mad skills. Take a look at this. Recently, two of Piscataway High School's senior athletes received athletic scholarships. On National Signing Day, Maya Galixson signed to play field hockey at Westchester University, and Sarah Ogilvie signed to play softball at Central Connecticut State University. Friends, family, teachers and coaches were there to congratulate them on getting the scholarships. And we congratulate them too. Congratulations Sarah and Maya. You have a great future ahead of you. I hope you enjoyed our first show. If you have any comments or feedback, feel free to contact us at pwaytvclub at gmail.com. I'm Mary. And I'm James. Stay golden, PUA.